Over the last couple of weeks, we have talked about the importance of digitalizing your photo collection, digital photos and digital backups. However, much of the modern day photographs, memorabilia and video is taken and stored digitally. This changes how we take photos and video and what we do with it and how we view it. Today, the majority of people take photos with a digital device. Many people have access to a digital camera via their phone or tablet device. This allows for quick and multiple photos of things we never before would have taken photos or video of. Back when photographs need to be printed off the negatives, people were, as a general rule, a lot more economical about the photos they were taking. For example, you may buy a disposable camera for a specific event such as a birthday party, or perhaps you would buy some Polaroid film for a special outing. One thing you never knew was how that photo would turn out before you had them developed. There are many blurry photos that have been developed or photos with the tips of people's heads cut off. But now, with the easy access of digital cameras available, people will take photos of everything and anything. Even if you have a specific digital camera, the number of photographs you can take is limited only by the amount of storage you have in your camera. Along with digital cameras, many phones also have the ability to capture video and sound. Video can capture things that a photo never will. It will capture emotions, voices, multiple people, backgrounds, and so much more. Another thing that our technology will capture is voice. It is said that the sound of one's voice is among the first things that we forget. Having a sound recording of our loved ones will bring back deep emotion and memories. So now that we can capture a lot more with our digital technology, what do we do with it? With more traditional photos, we would have a physical copy to either stash away or put into albums that we can go through at our leisure, share and save for prosperity. But with something digital, how do we do that? For some people, it is similar to the debate of ebook versus physical book. I absolutely love physical books, but I also absolutely love ebooks. They are the same and yet different. One you can hold in your hands but take up a lot of physical space while the other you can keep hundreds on an iPad and yet they may feel more unsubstantial to some. But just with digital photos and memorabilia remember that the content is the same no matter what the format is. A photo of your smiling grandma is the same photo, captures the same emotions, love and memories whether it is a physical photo or a digital photo. There are of course pros and cons to both sides. There are many advantages to having a physical photo or a physical film negative, but there are also downsides such as loss or damage. While having digital copies has advantages of prosperity and sharing, but may feel different than having a physical copy. There is always the option of having certain photographs printed out if you would like to create a physical copy of parts of your photograph collection. An issue with taking and keeping digital copies of photos, video or sound is how do we keep them for prosperity. With a physical photo you can hand down that collection of family history photos and memorabilia. But with a digital collection we have to have different ways to share the collection. But technology is ever changing. What is high tech today is yesterday's technology. Just think of the days of cassette tapes in computers then to large floppy disks and smaller and floppy disks and even jazz drives. There can be entire photo collections on these older types of technology. This also applies to video on reel or VHS. There is now technology that will allow you to transfer some of these older types of technology over the newer versions. For example, there are computer attachments to connect to your computer via USB to your VHS and transfer videos over the computer. This type of transfer can feel very overwhelming and if you need help there are many companies out there that can help you with this. Once your collection is transferred then you can use today's level of technology to save and back up your photos and memorabilia. This can feel like an ever-changing goalpost as technology changes and grows but it does allow you to keep up your digital photo, video, document and sound files to keep, show and share. There is a lot more than only photos that you can keep digitally. Transferring your videos and film into a digital format 
will also help keep them for posterity and may also allow you to enhance the quality and detail of the film. Sound files can also be improved and changed. How do you organise your digital photo and memorabilia collection? Well, that greatly depends on what you want to do with your collection. Do you want to keep it for prosperity? Do you want to share it or parts of your collection with friends and family? Perhaps you're a keen genealogist and want to share it with other enthusiasts. Knowing what you want to do with your collection will help you choose how to organise your files. Perhaps you need to have them stored chronologically, maybe by special occasions such as birthdays and weddings, or maybe by type or format. Organising your files can feel a little overwhelming, so knowing your why may help you save time. What about other types of documents and memorabilia? Many people keep certain things that spark a memory in a story. An example of this could be a flower you kept from your wedding or entry tickets to a cruise you took on, on holiday. These types of memorabilia take an important place in your collection. To digitalize them, the best option we've found is to take digital photos of them and save them into your collection, or perhaps scan them with a scanner or a scanning app. The same can be done for documents. This is especially true for documents pertaining to genealogy, such as birth and death certificates. Keeping documents such as these digitally will allow you to correct any damage and keep copies for prosperity. We tend to have so many photos, videos and memorabilia stored digitally and it is important to back them up safely and securely. Technology is a fabulous thing but it is not infallible. There are many very good backup software options out there if you want to back up your digital collections. There is also the option of backing up online storage and on the cloud. There are many different options and it is best to choose the one most suited to you and your collection but it is a very good idea to back up in some fashion. So what do you do with such a collection once you have your photos and memorabilia digitally stored? Creating a type of slideshow of photos is an excellent way to view your digital photos. You can have such a slideshow running on your computer or even in the background at a special event such as a birthday. Some programs will allow you to easily create such a slideshow. Google Photos can help you do this as well. It is easy to share digital photo collections for family and friends and it can help create a beautiful recollection of memories and stories. Digitally, you can also have videos created that will incorporate photos, video and sound clips. These videos can be shown at special occasions or funerals. These types of videos can also have an artistic aspect added to create something special and unique. Memories and life celebrations can assist you in creating such videos, so please reach out if you would like any help with this. It is also a great idea to have digital photos artistically altered as a special memento piece. This piece can be shared digitally or even printed out if you would like a physical copy or a unique piece to display. Of course, you can print any part of your digital collection of photos once they are organized and it makes it a lot more specific and specialized instead of having a whole bunch of random photos. This is also a fabulous aspect of having your collection in digital format. You can create different sections to create different collections. For some people, having photos, video, sound, documents and memorabilia collections digitalized means that you can access, store and browse through these collections easier. It can mean that you view your photos and memorabilia a lot more. For others, having your photos in digital collections can feel a little unsubstantial. However, this can lead to the best of both worlds in the fact that you can have collections stored electronically and you can print your physical format only of those you specifically want. For example, if you print only three photos of your wedding day and yet have 300 photos digitally stored, then you can browse them at any time and still have those very special photos for display. Technology continuously changes, but if you have your collections digitalized, it is easier to change them to different technological formats to view, share and save. You can store and back up your collections and still create physical or special copies if you see fit. 
Today you can take hundreds of photos of those special days and keep them all. You can video a special occasion and keep it to spark your special memories. You can voice record your loved one and then smile when you listen to them years from now. Technology has its good and bad aspects, but using it for your benefit to help you spark your amazing and cherished memories is something that you can hold on to for prosperity, to share and to create joy. Thank you for reading and joining me and blessed be to you all.